The woman, named Sarah, had always been terrified of clowns. As a child, she had a traumatic experience at a carnival where a clown chased her through the crowds, and she had never been able to shake the fear. Despite this, she took a job as a ticket taker at a traveling circus, thinking it would be an easy way to make some extra money. But as soon as she arrived at the circus, she realized her mistake. Everywhere she looked, there were clowns. They were performing on stage, walking around the circus grounds, even sleeping in the tents. She tried to ignore them and focus on her job, but it was impossible. Every time she saw one of the painted faces, she felt a surge of panic. The clown seemed to take notice of her fear and began to torment her. They would sneak up behind her and make sudden movements or noises, causing her to jump and scream. They whispered sinister things in her ear when she was alone and left grotesque drawings of clowns in her tent. One night, as the circus was getting ready to open, the ringmaster approached her with a proposition. He offered her a job as a clown, saying that they were shorthanded and needed someone to fill in. She begged him to find someone else, but he insisted. He said she could either do it or lose her job. Terrified, she put on the clown suit and makeup and joined the other clowns on stage. The audience laughed and applauded, but she felt like she was going to be sick. Her hands were shaking and her heart was pounding. She stumbled through the performance, barely able to keep up with the others. Afterwards, she ran back to her tent and tore off the clown suit, vowing to never return to the circus again. But she couldn't shake the feeling of being trapped, of being forced to confront her deepest fear every night. The clowns haunted her dreams, chasing her through a never-ending carnival of terror. As the days passed, her fear began to consume her. She became paranoid and isolated herself from the other circus workers. She was convinced that the clowns were out to get her, and that they were not just performers in a circus, but something far more sinister. One night, she couldn't take it anymore and decided to leave the circus. But as she gathered her things and made her way to the exit, she saw the clowns. They were standing in a circle, blocking her path. Their painted faces twisted into grotesque grins, revealing resorsharp teeth. They began to move towards her, closing in with outstretched arms. Sarah panicked and tried to flee, but they were too fast. They caught up to her and pulled her back into the circus, despite her desperate struggles to escape. Once inside, Sarah was locked in a small, damp room with no windows. The clowns took turns watching her, taunting her with their twisted laughter and grotesque faces. Sarah knew that she would never be able to escape and that her fear of clowns had finally consumed her. In the following days, Sarah's mental state deteriorated rapidly. She became withdrawn and despondent, barely eating or drinking. She knew that her life was over and that she would never be able to leave the circus. One night, when her guard was distracted, Sarah managed to find a piece of broken glass and used it to end her own life. Her body was found the next morning, still locked in the room, surrounded by the twisted drawings of clowns that she had scrawled on the walls in her own blood. The circus was closed down soon after Sarah's death and the clowns disappeared without a trace. Some say that they were cursed and that they still haunt the abandoned circus grounds to this day, waiting for their next victim. Others say that Sarah's death was a sacrifice to keep the circus running and that the clowns were never human to begin with. But one thing is for sure, the horror of the circus will be forever etched in the mind of those who knew of it and the memory of Sarah will live on as a cautionary tale of the dangers of fear.